These were my first shots with the mount. It looked like the ants were threatening the aphids. Until I saw this. In fact, they live in symbiosis. Protection in return for honeydew. This insignificant discovery opened my eyes for a whole new world. So, what can you achieve with the reverse mount adapter? It costs 10 euros, so I didn't expect much. I bought one for my 28 to 70 mm lens and went to a lake very close to my hometown. I live here for 27 years and never been there. Maybe because it's known as a nudism lake. So not everybody was happy when I arrived with a few cameras. First thing I realized it's impossible to shoot handheld. You can't be steady enough. So I used the tripod and soon noticed it's not that simple to pull focus while reversing, because your focus range is just a few millimeters wide. It became too windy to get any more shots. So I went on to my mother's garden, which is just huge and way better protected. With these uh, reverse lens mounts you can just screw it on your lens and then you can turn it around. The problem with that is that you can't control the aperture anymore. So you basically have to set your aperture first and then you turn it around. The depth of field is very small and you can't actually just focus on the focus ring. After a while I found myself using a mix of focus ring, zoom and moving the tripod plate to pull focus. It's a bit of a kerfuffle, but you get used to it. You can work against that small depth of field by closing your aperture, but in this case I highly recommend a low light camera. But if you don't have a camera like that, if you are shooting for example with an old Canon 5D Mark, then I would highly recommend some LED lights on your cage to brighten up your small models. Insects move way faster than we do. To film the movements in a way our eyes can comprehend it, shoot at least 50 fps. Or even better, 100 fps. And also I found you can get the best shots of insects in the evening, because it seems to me that the insects are way more calm. And still, you need a lot of patience. You can only film and hope that something beautiful will happen. Macro is a lot of fun. This realization alone makes the 10 euros well spent. But besides that I'm very impressed with the macro shots you can achieve with this small mount. You can get very sharp pictures and very beautiful results. Sure, it's a compromise. But let's face it, everything on a budget is. As long as the results are good, who cares, right?